there. Upstairs. It's loaded with them. Pops Ghostly and his family desperately need your help. Their happily haunted home's been invaded by ghastly, horrible creatures. They are heartless. They are relentless. Targets jump out from behind the furniture. They swoop up the stairs. You've got to clear them out. Targets in the attic. In the parlor. It's a frightening adventure. The rescue of Pops Ghostly. Imagine taking up residence in a house, and you slowly discover that this house is not the house you thought it was. That this house is, in fact, haunted with restless spirits of the damned, and they're bothering you non-stop, regularly making your home into a den of terrors. Now, imagine all of that, but you're also a ghost. And no, that isn't the twist to an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Believe it or not, it's another classic Action Max title, The Rescue of Pops Ghostly. Pops Ghostly is a 1987 VHS video game title from Action Max, in which you, random player, are enlisted to help the titular Pops Ghostly free his home of the evil scary spirits that inhabit it. Now, I'm not sure how a ghost house could be haunted, but let's not worry about semantics, I suppose. Once again, much like every other title on this thing, it's essentially a light gun game. But this time, you're not an underwater adventurer. No, no. Now you're a pseudo ghostbuster living off the residuals from your knockoff franchise, helping good ol' upstanding undead citizens like Papa Ghostly here. The main objective is you walk throughout Pop and Fresh Ghostly's home and capture each one of the evil spirits causing havoc until you've finally cleaned house and the Ghostly family can live or be dead, rather, in peace once more. My personal favorite thing about this entire game, which I hesitate to call any of these games since they lack interactivity for the most part, is that the ghostly family consists of Pops, Moms, and their son Gordy. Maybe Gordy killed his family, that's how they became ghosts. I, I know if I was a boy and my parents named me Gordy, I'd likely have done the same. Who could blame him, really? To be fair to the game, again I use that term extremely loosely, this is at least one of the more interesting concepts. But maybe that just appeals to me because I like spooky shit? I don't know. While you could argue it's the same standard shooter fare as every other title on the console, again a term I use extremely loosely in regards to this, at least this one is neat in that it involves ghosts and kinda cool effects and it just is sort of super wholesome overall in some warped kind of way. And even if Poppy G's house is infested with the souls of the darned, it at least makes you feel good that you're doing something helpful and not just blowing away bad guys with random weapons for the sheer thrill of it. As with most of these games, there's just not much information to be had, but I think we can all agree that if given the chance, wouldn't we all help out your friendly neighborhood ghost? I mean, especially if his name was Pops? That's just adorable, come on. So here's to you, Pops Ghostly, for being dead and still not being a dick about it. <laughs> 